Hi everyone, welcome to week 15. This is our last week of class and you only you have a reflection to write. So first I wanna just say that I spend a long time grading these final projects, so don't expect to see a grade anywhere near the beginning of this upcoming week. And so I allow myself week 15 and finals week to get them all graded so I can really, really, really read them thoroughly. If you have any questions, just let me know. You're going to do a single dra draft reflection on your growth as a writer this week. That's basically it. And then you have a discussion post as usual. So there's a really good short guide to reflective writing that I assigned you. It's this guy right here. It's, um, this is one of the best things I've seen about how to write a reflection. And so I would just take a look at it. I mean, there's no use in me reinventing the wheel when you can take a look at this. And then you have a video. So you have the single draft and then you have your discussion post. So you also have a PowerPoint on reflective writing. And then here's your prompt. And you're going to think about the four essays that you wrote as you and analyze them as you write this reflection so the first one was a single draft that thinking personally one the second one was your annotated evaluative bibliography the third one was a sum, summary rhetorical response and the fourth was the the project you just turn in so it asks you four different questions i would treat each one of these questions as a paragraph i would also spend some time writing this reflection don't just think oh i'm gonna you know spend a half hour and write it no this is you want to spend some time writing this reflection it's two to three pages uh the four paragraphs ask you to look at how your writing meets the slos the student learning outcomes those are in your syllabus there's about 10 of them so i take a look at that there the Second paragraph asks you to write about how your writing reflects your growth as a writer. And then some just some think about questions there. And then how do the rhetorical decisions that you made in your essays meet the demands of audience purpose and genre? So, you know, why did you make the choices that you did? And then the final paragraphs asks you how will this writing influence the kind of writing you anticipate doing across the curriculum and throughout your professional career. This reflection asks you to write it as a letter. Right, you will hand in a letter. Well, you're gonna turn in a letter that reflects on your writing. So do it just do it in, in whatever letter format. Um, so the tone should be more, a little more personal because it's a letter. Uh, and, and I don't mean, you know, flippant or sarcastic or whatever, but just, you know, as a letter, uh, this is your final hurrah, right? This is a convince me why I should give you whatever grade you would like. And then here's where you turn it in. File extensions, don't forget, you don't want to turn in the wrong ones on the last essays because that's kind of, a you know, trying to chase people down. And then your discussion post is what are the most valuable writing habits or tactics you learned over the course of the semester? And then how does your experience compare to your cohorts? So this is a kind of a short week in the sense that I don't like to have huge projects due in the final week of class because I know that you have four other classes where you have a huge project due. So I, you're, I'm just looking for this reflection. And at the 200 level in English, I'm sure you've already written some kind of reflection in the past. If you have any questions about how to do this or anything about the course itself, please feel free to email me and I hope you have a great last week of school.